Hey everyone, Lord Brimstone here, and we had just beaten a Colossi and a shadow person staring above us. Okay. And the dead maiden's still dead. And apparently Wanderer is not, though. He is still alive. And back here for some strange reason. Hmm, interesting. What could this mean? And shaking could only Oh, here we go. Hey, one of the statues is spontaneously explodified. Sweet. I love spontaneous explosions. And the operatic sounds means we are victorious. Nope. Still more to do though. Our next foe is... In the seaside cave, it moves slowly. Raise thy courage to defeat it. Uh, you look nice and pretty. So, yeah. Well, let's be off, shall we? Let's explore a little bit more. Uh, we got time. So yeah, we have a grand total of 16 colossi we have to beat. Yeah, we're going to be doing this for a while. Now, this isn't too long of a game, actually. But the game does have multiple modes that you can do. So it keeps itself interesting. Also, the fact that this world's huge, and you can just explore for hours. But the main gameplay itself isn't that long. Maybe about three hours, four hours. Playing this game as many times as I have, you can beat this. I could probably beat this game in under two hours. Yeah. Ah! We got healing altars. And Darman explained that. Since he, she is a deity, we can pray to the statues. We can also save our progress at these little statues. Uh, well, that wasn't it. Hold on. Uh, I do believe it's, it's up here. Ah, here we go. So I just kneel down. Uh, try that again. Okay, it wasn't kneel down. Uh, what do I have to do? Ah, circle. No, I do not wish to save. Just want to heal my progress and show what to do. Also note that the statue is glowing ever so slightly. Pulsating. Yeah. Also, there's particles of light. This game is pretty damn detailed. I don't know if you can notice that with the quality. I'm not sure how good it's showing up, but... Yeah, there's sparkly white things on this altar. In fact, you can see it... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty amazing detail for a PS2 game. The graphics actually are pretty good even to this day. Of course, what's nice is they're talking about doing a HD version of Ico and this game for the PS3. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, yeah. let's go ahead and go find our next Colossi. Yeah. Yeah. So we do this, I should explain more about well this game and other things. Okay, actually, slow down a bit. Slow down. Come on, Argo. There we go. Okay. Uh, no, I want to. There we go. Alright. Where do we need to go? Okay, I gotta go this direction, past the, um... Past this place. Okay. So yeah, this place is bloody huge. Press the start button will bring us our map. Notice the clouds 
As we progress, these clouds will disappear. It's kind of our fog of war, I guess. So you can see this place is huge. Also, these little, if you notice the little face there, shows Colossi we have defeated. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go back. Oh! Also, you could do a jump dismount on your horse by pressing X. It's useful for quick dismounting. Believe me, I've used it quite a bit in s certain boss battles. So, yes, I meant to do that, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, right. So, let's talk about plot about this game. So, all we really know so far is this guy, Wander, is trying to save this girl, bring this girl back to life, who's been sacrificed because she was cursed or some stuff like that. Um has traveled to this land with this sword, this glowing sword, call it what you will, and is having to travel around this forbidden area, slaying all these colossi in order to bring her back. Basic yeah. plot premise, yes. But what does not explain is, why is he doing it? What does this girl mean to him? You know, what is really driving this character? It's not explained. And it never is explained. Yeah. It's left to the player's imagination why he is doing yeah. it. Ico is the same way. You're playing this kid, and you're rescuing this girl. You don't know who this girl is. Um, a, now this shows the... Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but this shows the intelligence of the horse. It will freaking... I'm not controlling it. The horse is automatically going where it's supposed to go. It's smart. I, that's why I love the controls of this game. I'm going to do some exploration real quick because I see a save altar. I want to register these places because they make great waypoints when you're going long distances. And trust me, we are going to be going very long distances. Also, I can show some of the subtle nuances of this game. We take out this weapon, the bow. I didn't use it last game. I could have used it, but I decided not to. There was no need. To use this weapon, uh, you hold down the square button. Hold it down to get a good draw, and you use the left analog stick to... Now, I want to shoot this guy. And shoot and miss. Come here. Yeah, it's sort of a salamander thing. There's a variety of animals. I do want that though. Come on. There we go. Of course, I gotta climb up there. Uh, not like that. Let's see here. There's a way to get up here. Ah, here we go. Okay. inch my way ever so slowly. Cooperate with me, camera, please. There we go. Okay. Now, where is that? Ah, here it is. Kneel down. And we didn't notice that our stamina meter is glowing. Certain lizard tails, because that's what it was, uh, the glowing ones, will actually slightly increase our stamina and I think our health too. I think No, it's our stamina. There's fruit that will increase our health. Our permanent health and stamina. A lot of people don't know about this. Actually, I didn't know about it until I explored. This is one of the things that you will find out with the exploration. It's not told to you. You just find these things out. Again, one of the subtle nuances of this game. Now, one of the things about this game that this game, as I said, this game is not for everyone. And one of the reasons, which you probably have noticed by now, note that there are no enemies to fight along the way. This is a complete open area. There's very, you know, we see birds, we see some animals, but and we see some scenery, but that's all we see. In fact, the only enemies in this game are, well, the 16 Colossi. 
And no, we don't want to fall down to our deaths. Thank you. Oh, I need. I'm looking for a ramp right now. I think I just found it. I think it's over here. Normally, I could just. There it is. I see it. I went. I crossed on the wrong gap. Wrong bridge. Oh well. At least we discovered some cool things. I showed you guys some cool things. So yeah, there's no enemies to file on the way. So it's pretty open. So some people find this boring. You know, those that don't like to explore, you know, enjoy scenery. You know, they want to just get right into action, have them on stop action. There's nothing wrong with that. I do enjoy the good, you know, action, shooting game. Come on, Argo, don't. Come on, Argo. You're smarter than this. There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, where's this egress point? Ah. Yeah. Let's look at our handy dandy map. Also the notice the little yellow dotted line shows where we were where we've been in our route. So the bridge I actually want to take, I do believe, is over on this side. Oop! Oh, wrong button. Oh, I gotta get used to this. Actually, yeah. wait. Did I actually... Oh, I was the right area, wasn't I? Okay, Mumo, Uno Momento. 